You know, recently I did a video where I pointed out the double standards that society and women have towards the aging process, and specifically how it biologically affects women and men. And I pointed out that women often like to point out a couple of things that happen to men as they get older, like ED and, oh, I don't know, baldness. And of course, that upset the women that I went there, especially because I mentioned that menopause is something that they hide behind frequently and use as an excuse. And it led to this comment being made on one of the social media channels. And I quote, I'm sorry you're being mocked by women about your hair loss, but don't lump us all together and lessen the scientifically and medically proven side effects of menopause. Women and men should both be kind and loving to each other. Now, first of all, I appreciate that she's showing some sympathy for my hair loss. The funny thing is, is while yes, I have lost some hair, I shave my head. So all y'all who love to point out that I'm bald and make it seem that somehow hair loss equates to brain cell loss, well, but let's address the menopause thing. Because you see, when men point out how women hide behind menopause, they get very upset about it. And as you can see here, it was being used to dismiss what I was saying about the double standards that women have towards men with regards to aging. It's the typical female response. Now, as I said, I want to give her credit for acknowledging that, you know, it's probably not a good thing that people attack you for your physical appearance. But then, as women almost always do, she turned around and played the it's about women card. And again, that's done to dismiss the man and what he's saying and what he's feeling. She starts by saying it's not fair to lump all women together. Funny, though, how they have no problem saying it's all men till it's no men and have for decades now. And then there's the but, 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 but menopause, you know, scientifically and medically proven to have effects on women and their bodies. I never said it didn't. What I said was women hide behind it and use it as an excuse. The other side of the coin is women rarely, no make that, never mention andropause, which is an aging effect that men go through. And indeed, much like menopause, triggers significant hormonal changes. And guess what? It's scientifically and medically proven to have side effects. Ask yourself this. Have you ever heard of andropause? Or when was the last time you heard it? If you're an older gentleman like me, does your doctor even mention it to you? Because I mentioned it to my doctor one time, and she looked at me like I had my head cut off. Not because she didn't know what it was. She did. But because she, like most of the medical profession, completely ignores it and certainly doesn't want to do anything to treat it. I've always joked that they'll hand out estrogen to women like Pez, but a man getting, say, testosterone injections because he needs them? Good luck with that. The bottom line is this. Women will always say they want men to sit down, shut up, and listen to what they're saying when they're expressing their opinion or feelings on an issue. Don't give a response and most certainly don't give a solution just sit there and listen. That's all we want. Wouldn't it be refreshing if women actually practiced what they preached and actually listened to what men have to say?